hello everyone you are most welcome again on my channel and in yesterday's video as we know that we were doing history of english literature i have already done uh, more than 60 videos on this channel so you can check out those all videos related to english literature but today we are going to talk about uh, after flowering of Rene renesa till here we have uh, discussed english literature so let's go through some important uh, writers and we should know about them uh, in these. So first of all, we will have a little bit uh, knowledge about uh, Sir Philip Sidney. He is remembered for his three works, Arcadia, Apology for Poetry and Astrophil and Stella. Uh, here, here I have written the shortcut A cube for uh, Philip Sidney's work. Arcadia, Apology for Poetry and Astrophel and Stella. Remember the publication years. So first is Arcadia. Arcadia was published in 1590 and Apology for Poetry is published in 1580. Astrophel and Stella got published in 1593. Astrophel and Stella is a collection of sonnets and it was collection of sonnets for Sidney's love for Penelope and who was Penelope? Penelope was sister of Earl of Essex. And Astrophil was Sydney, and Stella was Penelope. Now we are going to talk about Edmund Spencer. So he is the greatest non dramatic poet of the age, and his first work was The Shefford Calendar, which got published in 1579. And this work was inspired by Theocritus and Virgil's uh, Bucolica. Okay, it was Virgil's Bucolica. Some miscellaneous tales he wrote in 1591, like first was Mother Hubbard's Tale, and that was a remarkable satire. Next is Complained, and it is a collection of poem. And uh, in in this collection of poem. The important runes, uh, runes of times and the tears of muses are important uh, poems in this. Next work, Collins Cloud, which got published in 1595 and it is an autobiographical poem. Uh, what is uh, in this poem? A shepherd who is visited by another shepherd and the another shepherd is Sir Walter Raleigh. And uh, the first is Spencer now let's see uh, and these uh, if uh, we are talking about a Shafford in any poem that is called pastoral poem Amarathi Amarathi is uh, a collection of sonnets again and it has 88 Petrarchan sonnets and he describes the progress of his love for Elizabeth Boyle so remember this thing Elizabeth Boyle uh, is with uh, Edmund Spencer and Penelope is with Philip Sidney. Now here, yeah, Coleridge called this work Maidenliness. And sonnets are divided into three quatrains A, B, A, B, B, C, B, C, C, D and C, D. This is the rhyming scheme of the work. Epithalamium uh, got published in 1595 and Prothalamion got published in 1595 again. And Astrophil in 1596. So let's see a uh, little bit more about Epithelian Nobelist wedding him for his marriage with Elizabeth Boyle. So this work is related to Elizabeth Boyle again. And Prothelian got published in 1595. And this is again another marriage him. Astrophil, Elegy on Death of Sir Philip Sidney. So these are the notes which will help you in your exams. Definitely a prose treaty named the view of Ireland. He also wrote a prose treaty and the name of that treaty was the view of Ireland. In next video, I will be talking about uh, fairy queens. So keep on watching. Let's go through a uh, whole English literature in this series. So if you like the video, please do comment share and what else you can say don't forget to like the video see you in next video bye bye take care good luck for your exams